But I'm, I'm gonna fuck around and make my whole fucking album distorted, and they gonna they gonna be like that boy edgy as fuck. Yeah, fuck. T cap it up there. Coming heavy with the weight and feel. One day the hoes in Jesus' hand held. Give a fuck how a man fell. Whole world at a standstill, stigmatized. Donald Trump, they will not criticize. Still question bomber like my nigga lied. White girls boosting so my nigga ride. Out here switching sides. Cost and shift the mind the window cause they living blind. And they saw that show it. I swear my flow hot potent. How these hoes got open and you know pops joking. If he ain't spent forgiveness, I'm wondering your seven victim hoes free of heaven's prison. These are split decisions. And I think I get the misses, but I get the masses. My whole arm and no walls. I ain't kissing ass in the shit and I don't stop. Don't stop. She ain't falls the end she won't call her. You get it, she ain't coming. You get it, she ain't running. They be like, baby, why they ain't needed that to drive? Horsepower is needed. Punching, smoking weed, I'm blunting. No, this thing is fun. Ain't me like Jesus first. Knowledge, I got key consumption, super saying wanna be. I ain't gonna be no buzzing for your family, they ugly. You can keep your cousin, most people puzzling. You want my time is about an hour and I need a hundred. I see your ship and see it sunken. Missing me, she keep on cutting. She a keeper, love that hot box, a beaming bucket. My demon, she seen a sucker. She bring me, need me, so fucking here for long haul. Press hold to God. Ban it, ban it, ban it. Why do you always join in halfway through the banana nets? Because I like being part of something. But Be part of the whole thing or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you got to start from the... Like, bam, bam, I don't, bam, 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 I don't bam, like this bam, all or nothing bam, bam, attitude for you, Charlie. Like, you know, it's very unbecoming. How is it unbecoming? It's Do you know just, what that means? Uh, Do you know what unbecoming yeah. means? I, I know when to use it. When? <laughs> right oh, now. Right then? Explain yeah. how it makes sense to the situation. It means, I don't know, it undresses you socially. And now you're embarrassed. So there you go. Not embarrassed. <laughs> Not undressed socially. You don't know what unbecoming means. These are all things we've learned in the first eight seconds of us talking. It feels like we've been gone for a while. Right? That felt like a really long yeah. weekend. I was literally, like, I was about to say that. Hold on. Before we ta- discuss that, because I, I do want to discuss time and crazy weird science things. Not really, but kind of in a way, like, theoretically. I've been dropping shit all weekend in the Discord, by the way. The weather in Alfalfa County, Oklahoma. Alfalfa County. It's hey. called Alfalfa. There was a like movie alfalfa with the little there's, rascals. There's a movie alfalfa is also there. a vegetable. Alfalfa County, Oklahoma. It's also a hair gel. Too. The weather was clear. 75, 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Precipitation was 2% humidity. was 63%. The wind is 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow, Tuesday, the se- 18th <laughs> of August. I'm so used to starting after midnight that I just look at the date yeah. and that's the date I'm saying. By the way, we should be... But we are, go ahead, finish. We are a couple of minutes before tomorrow... Uh, the high will be 88, the low will be 64, partly cloudy. What? We should be starting around this time pretty, like, so today and tomorrow for sure because I get off early tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It's 7.30. And we're starting early day because I was already off today anyway, so. Okay. There you go. Also, I'm happy to be, like, you know, uh, doing my own thing because i got two interviews done over the weekend interviews for what get your phone get your phone for, for <laughs> creighton station my show. oh and okay yeah. i thought you were like trying to get a new no, job no, no, i was no, no, like no. what i thought you no, looked no, no. at you my brother thought the same thing because i had coda come over and we did the interview at my house the other night and I said hey i'm gonna be doing an interview out in the sewing room and my brother was like <laughs> my brother was like you're interviewing you're having somebody come over and interview for a job and i was like no <laughs> It's much worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Coda, you hear that? That's crazy. He thinks that's much worse. Well, I'm talking about me, not Coda. Um, how was your weekend, Charlie? What? You said it was a long. Is that weekend. sound? That was you moving. What that was not me moving. Oh shit! I don't know. Maybe it's the food that's over here on the wires. Really? By the way, can I have this toast? Yeah. Sweet. Um, I thought that was a meatball, by the way. That we, hey. I didn't realize it was chicken. I was like, did, where'd you get a meatball from Zaxby's? That weekend, first of all, it would have been from Zaxby's. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I didn't realize Zaxby's had meatballs. They it don't. was a meatball. Creighton. Disgusting. I want to know why you want to talk about living in a simulation, like the debate around it. Oh. Oh. You're not eating that right now. You're not doing that. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, in the middle of the <laughs> This isn't the best time to ask. Hey, Kristen, the sound, <laughs> the sound means you're, you've been chosen, Charlie. I wanted to talk about it. 
You know what? Let's not talk about it right now. Let's I mean, talk about it right I mean, now. Toast. It's not a good time. So what? What, would you like us to wait for you to eat the toast before we say anything? Yeah, okay, go no. ahead with your weekend. Tell tell us about that. No, I'm just going to wait on you. Are you just going to wait here? <laughs> Premium content right here. This is what everyone signed up for. It's good toast, too. I don't know why, but this side is, like, really toasted, and this side isn't. Like, look at that. That's a It's because it's fast food and they don't care. No, but I've had toast from fast food before that's better than this. Mm-hmm. Also, the butter, like, you know, it feels like the butter's on Oh, the Lord, side. he eating. <laughs> Hello, random person that I have no clue who who it is. <laughs> <laughs> that toast's good, Creighton. It is. You enjoying that toast? You really, you couldn't have eaten, like, at all today? I'm... No. No. There's just never a moment. I'm going to lurk so I, can, so, so I can eat Takis and not get mouse and keyboard dirty. Smart. You're not missing much, Flint. Not right now, at least. <laughs> you having fun? If I had some water, that would have gone much faster. I didn't think about it until I finished. Kimberly. Oh. He's um, your son. Anyway, go ahead. I don't remember what I was watching. I was watching something. I've been, like, really into the educational side of YouTube lately. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, have you guys ever watched this YouTube channel called Today I Learned? I don't know. Maybe. It's uh, by this guy who, like, delves deep into historical like facts and everything and like try to kind of separates, separates the fact from the fiction and the stereotypes and the ideals of like you know what people think is like this thing and as opposed to that um thank you for following isaiah <laughs> i was watching him and he was talking about i saw this video that was like like what's what's the debate between between behind why people think we live in a simulation mm-hmm and the research done on it, like, had me, like, starting... It created a reasonable doubt. Because, like, before I was like, oh, yeah, we're there's no way we're in a simulation. No, we're definitely in a simulation. But this research created a reasonable doubt for me. Because <laughs> they were... What they were doing is they were breaking down string theory to, like, kind of see, like, you know, within the very... Because, you know, string theory is about all, like, the stuff that ties together our, our universe, like gravity and yeah. like, everything like that. Or how potentially it's all yeah, theoretical. It's, yeah, yeah, it's all theoretical. But they were breaking it down. That's why it's called theory. And they were saying the way that string theory looks math mathematically is very similar to computer code or computer coding and how that math looks. And that had people like going like, well, is it? <laughs> and then they were like, there's no... The I just conclusion. think statistically... What? We're in a simulation. So, like, like, it makes more sense for us to be in a simulation than to not be in a simulation. So, in terms we, of how crazy everything is. If we are in a simulation, uh -huh. who would be, what would, why would we be in a simulation? Are we computer programs or are we organic beings like in the Matrix that just yes. have our brain in the thing? We are both. We're both? I think we're both. Okay. I think that if we're in a simulation... It is to see... Have you ever seen the movie Next with Nick Cage? Nope. In the movie, he can see two minutes into the future. Mm -hmm. And because of this, he plays out lots of situations in a row in his head before he actually does them for real to see what the best choice is. Right? So he is simulating what the next couple of minutes in his life are going to be by the time he decides to actually fuck around and do what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. So, if life, all of life, is a simulation... It is, we are like, we're a bootleg, we're like an organic bootleg for whoever is in charge of us. They're trying to see how everything will run if they decide to let people be people. Or if instead of people, they want gorillas to be people, or if they want elephants to be people. Like it might be, maybe they have so many people, so many different organisms, they were like, what if this one was the smartest? 
Or what if this one was the smartest? What if this one was the smartest? And they were like, okay, let's give that one clothes and that one reason and that one laws and the ability to speak. And we're going to just click go, let it play out and see how it ends and see if like everything is cool and what, I don't know. But what I'm saying is, I think it's both. I think that someone's just up, call it what you want. Call it God, call it the trees. Something is watching us, watching how we play out. Whether now and w- the thing that's weird to me, the thing that I'm like, the thing that makes me wonder how simulated it is, is whether or not they can interfere. Because if they can interfere, I think it's just aliens. If they can't interfere, I think that's why we don't understand what the borders of our what time and space are, because apparently it's infinite, right? Right. But how can it be infinite? Be Based mean. on what we know, in in life, like. Everything ends. Time, like, like life has an ending. Things have an end. And nothing is forever except for the one thing, which is everything. If it's simulated. It exactly. Like this computer. Everything on this computer doesn't know it's in a computer. It's a computer. But this computer can do fucking billions of lines of text. I mean, text is nothing to the data of a computer. I have, I have a three terabyte hard drive. You can fit fucking ridiculous amounts of text on a three terabyte hard drive. If every letter was a star, and every star has an or- a, a, a fucking solar system with planets, and some of them can have life, the amount of space that my computer could cover in terms of putting down letters is fucking essentially infinite. It's ridiculous. But it's all in that computer. That computer is the case which all that is held in. For all we know, all of space that we understand or that we can maybe see is like the marble at the end of Men in Black. That's just in a bag that an alien plays with where he's rolling marbles around. Like, it really, who fucking knows? You know what I mean? Like, if it's all a simulation, it's probably some dumb bullshit like that. It's funny because it still doesn't give you any definitive answer in who... And who is God and where is God? And if the question of the day is where do we come from, uh, it's never going to be answered. Yeah. Uh, fuck Lou Diamond Phillips. I agree. That's why computers ask you if you're a robot. I agree. Uh, so what happens if you click yes that you're a robot? Uh, it kills you. The computer kills you. Make make that one work. Make that one work at a grocery store dressed like a youth pastor. Have a pizzeria mustache and tell horrible drawn out stories that have no real conclusion. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> Charlie, get, play them. What the hell? Oh, that was your drink. Uh, play on the Marvel scene from Men in Black because that's actually a good representation. Yeah, I mean, it's a weird. That's what Marvel. Yeah, he's trying to say Marvel. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's that. That's just how I see it in my head. That's, that, I say that's how I see it. That's how I am representing Imagine what I it. see inside of like a three-minute understanding. I don't know. It's See, simulation I, theory is very fun to imagine because it is for me to just. There's a few ways you can live life, right? You can live life and be like terrified that you don't have enough money or that no one loves you or be upset about things and let your family like drag you down or let your friends drag you down or let the state of the world drag you down, or you can think everything's a simulation and that it's all crazy collisions of crazy things happening and that somebody is looking out. Whether you believe it's God or not, whatever you believe is up there. Whether, looking out for you. Or right here, invisible, or just behind the wall, or is the wall, or part of the wall, or part of everything. That's or like, is the computer. Or is the computer. Dun, 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 or dun, dun, whatever is exactly. sitting here, ready to reach in and interfere if it needs to. If you just wonder, not wonder, if you go through life understanding, not understanding, that's the wrong word. If you go through life assuming things like that, assuming that there's something and just don't make any dumb mistakes that would like get you hurt that would make whatever that is f- think you're an idiot i think you're going to be okay but i don't know a lot of crazy bad shit happens there's a lot of shitty people yeah it's I a mean, shitty simulation see i'm kind of like on the other side like i'm like 80% <coughs> sure it's not a simulation mhm put my hand through my hand right now but i also like you know okay. find comfort if it's not a simulation in my faith you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like, I get what you're, I get what you're saying. Like, you know, your your life, if your life is going downhill, you know, you can think like, oh, well, this, whatever it is, if we're in a simulation, is also looking out for me. 
but they were talking about too if it is a simulation it's got to have like incredible computing power or at least that look we, what we can do with computers well that's what I mean though. we were fucking monkeys pretty recently mm. like like we were just we're, we're still just primates like we can just make sounds with our mouths that other animals can't yet like we're just animals like compared to everything else on this planet so many animals can do pretty similar things that we dolphins and whales are as smart if not smarter than people they just don't have opposable thumb they're genius animals they can do incredible problem problem solving mm. like they are remarkably intelligent animals they're just underwater Chimpanzees yeah. are in the Stone Age. They're in their Stone Age right now. Yeah, they gorillas. just entered their Stone Age. Yeah, Dude, gorillas, they, chimpanzees, orangutans, monkey see, monkey do. They're following our lead. They're seeing what we're doing, and they're starting to copy us. Orangutans are fishing with spears. That's cool. Like, we're not special. <laughs> like, we're not special in, in terms of we're the only thing like us. There's a lot of things that can be like us you, that you, are going to figure things out over time, and we're going to help them. In our lifetime, like, we'll see that evolutionary process sped up because of a human it's already definitely sped up because of human contact i don't think we're going to have chimpanzees wearing clothes going to job interviews but i think that we'll have like certain chimp we already have gorillas and chimpanzees who know sign language you can have complex conversation mm -hmm. they can talk about like coco the gorilla before she died like she had a cat i mean <laughs> like this like this, this this gorilla was a person she lived in a home like she had, like her humans were her friends, and friends came over to see her. Robin Williams went, like met her. It was like this is amazing. Like I had a conversation. Like it's crazy. Like I mean, it's like it's like talking to a big kid, because it's not like as intelligent as a human, like a person, but it has knowledge of words and can have conversation. And that was decades ago. That's scary. How is it scary? Not scary in a bad way. Just like it's, like it's amazing, but also like terrifying in the same way. Because like. If we're speeding up their evolutionary process, like, you know, is it going to one day be them instead of us? You know what I mean? What's scary about that? I don't think it's, like, my scare, scary might have been the wrong word, but I think it's, like... Foreboding? It, yes. Interesting, too, like, to see, like... Because, I mean, they're going to, one day... I'm not saying they're going to rise up, like, you know, in Planet of the Ape style or yeah. anything. I mean, like we've kept. I mean, what if they do? We've kept them in cages and stuff for a long time. Yeah. And I feel like that needs to be properly addressed. You know. Mm. I'm, I'm at some point, whenever they're ready, you know. I mean, yes. It'll probably be probably. I mean, that uh, look at simulation theory. We're just in a cage. Yeah. I mean, I understand that. I'm okay with it. But would you be mad about it? I wouldn't be mad about it. But there I would already be assume people we're that would one. be mad about it. There would be people that it would be mad about, it, but people They'd are dumb. Pissed there's dumb it. people, and there's there is. there's people who understand things and take perspective into understanding. If gorillas rose up and became smart, the smart gorillas would understand that we were helping most of them. We don't eat gorilla. No one eats gorilla. No one hunts gorilla for their pelts. There's like maybe there's probably ten or fifteen guys on the planet that do shit like that, and it's all illegal. You know, like as a race, as a as a people, humans, everywhere. You know, minus a few shitty poachers. Like, there's no law in any country. There's no, like, mandate in a country where gorillas are hunted or gorillas are sought after as food. I mean, gorillas and chimpanzees both are v almost unanimously, from humans' perspective, like, something pr to protect. Like, when we catch them and study them, it's to study and help. We're not, like, torturing some some are don't get me wrong there's definitely i'm not gonna sit here and act like i know every chimpanzee and gorilla that's ever been captured especially and, in the past especially like in the animal past animal testing animal testing there's testing, definitely been some kind of evil stuff. shit done but in hindsight and i think that overall in like from beginning to end way more has been done for good like for the sake of the gorillas like to help to try and help them and then if we do end up living in a world where where apes get as smart of, as us, then you have to account for their rights and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, as far as like, I mean, yeah, animals in general. Well, there's I like mean, animal rights. I know there's animals, right? But I mean, there's a difference between <laughs> animal rights and there's like you know, gorillas walking and talking like humans and wearing clothes and stuff. Like, do they get to vote? Do they get to, you know, make the same as like you know a, a human? Well, well, th those are conversations for. Oh, oh, I, I get I mean, that. Legit, I mean, legitimately, way... thousands of years from now. Oh yeah. 
Like, but I mean, like, eventually. Probably not hundreds of thousands, but probably, like, tens of thousands of years yeah. from now. But, I mean, but who knows? Maybe not. Maybe hundreds of years, but probably not hundreds of years. Evolution doesn't happen that fast. Unless we can... Unless scientists are able to, like, fuck around and forward evolution, like, they probably will be able to shortly. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they're able to. But, I mean... But, I mean, it'll still be a long time before yeah. we're just hanging out with, like... Our buddy Chad the gorilla at the mall. You know what I mean? Like as a race, as a species. Like I don't think we'll be hanging out with animals like that anytime soon. I hope so. That'd be cool. It yeah, would be right? dope. Just have like one token gorilla friend to like protect you. <laughs> I don't know if that's you know they would be. Or not. Oh, it's definitely. How is that? What? One <laughs> Yo, go token ahead. gorilla Ooh. friend? How would that be species? <laughs> or or like <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I want to know the references. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, like, you know, we got to have that one gorilla friend in the group so that we were... Even oh, like, <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> well. It's like, yeah, we got to have that one, we got to have that one black friend and the one, like, Mexican, the one gay friend. <laughs> nah, I don't know. It would be cool. Imagine, like, imagine, imagine something like uh, Recess, the show. Yeah. But, like, in a world where there's gorilla people. You know what I mean? Like, like where there's gorillas that are people, like, and it's just like the bully is a gorilla. <laughs> like, you know that the bullies in all, like, in television would be like the gorillas and the ch- the stronger thing for a long time, and then, like, there'd be like a gorilla civil rights a- acti- uh, activist who's like, we're always put as the strong mean guy instead of the nice compassionate guy, and like it would that would become a thing, and it would be so funny. How do you think they would? It wouldn't react? be funny, probably. Like, it would actually probably be really serious, <laughs> but it's funny to think about. How do you think they would react to the whole Harambe thing? Look, I'm just saying, like you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too, Charlie. <laughs> Jack died in 1890. It was a ch- 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 chakma baboon. On, get it out, Charlie. Chakma baboon, I think is how you say it. Who attained some fame for acting as an assistant to a disabled railway singleman in South Africa. That's pretty cool. Assistant? What? No. An assistant. No, he was an assistant. The baboon was an assistant to a disabled railway signalman in South Africa. Oh, okay. S- signalman. Hold on. I have to. That's interesting. This is something I have to figure out. Hmm. Hold on. Wait, this? what? Wow, there's a lot. Oh, there's not that so, much. So, True Black King. Jack was the pet and assistant of double leg amputee singleman James Wide, who worked for the Cape Town Port Elizabeth Railway Service. James Jumper Wide had been known for jumping between rail cars <gasps> until an accident where he fell and lost both his legs. To assist in performing his duties, Wide purchased the baboon named Jack in 1881 and trained him to push his wheelchair and to operate the railway's, railway signals under supervision. An official investigation was initiated after a concerned member of the public reported that a baboon was observed changing <laughs> railway signals at Utenhag near Port Elizabeth. I think I said that right. After initial skepticism, the railway decided to officially employ Jack once his job com- <laughs> com- 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 mm, Why can't I say this word? Competency. Com- God, God damn. C O M P E. Compensate? Yes, but. Compensation? E N C Y at the end instead of a station. Competency. Once his job was verified, once he was once it was verified, he could do his job. The baboon <laughs> was paid twenty cents a day and half a bottle of beer each week. <laughs> it is widely reported that in his nine years of employment with the railway company, Jack never made a single mistake. After nine years of duty, Jack died of tuberculosis in eighteen ninety. Damn, uh, that lines up. Jack's TV was skull, getting a lot of motherfuckers. Back Jack's here. skull is in the collection of the Albany Museum in Grahamstown. Wait, did this take his head? Like, what the fuck? Dude, that's crazy. Why didn't they, like, you know, just, like, I leave love the that. rest of his skeleton alone and not take his head? I don't know. They probably studied his brain. Okay. <laughs> dude, mon- monkeys are smart, dude. That was crazy. So what kind of chimpanzee was he? Uh, he was a baboon. A cha- yeah. Chakma baboon. C H A C M A. I so think they chakma. paid him twenty three cents. Twenty cents. Twenty cents a day. A day. Or and a week. Half a beer. A week. A week. Yeah. Why just half a beer? Like He's a small guy. He's a little baboon. 
So somebody's drinking the other half of that beer. No, they're probably giving him the other half the next week. It's probably two beers a month is the best way to look at it, Creighton. <laughs> Wait, what would he spend the money on? <laughs> I don't think he would spend the money at all. I think it was going to his homeboy that he was helping out. Oh, okay. What well, that seems low. Creighton, it was 130 years ago. <laughs> 20 cents was a lot 60 well, years ago. I'm talking ago. about like this guy, like 60? What? It's more than 60 years ago. No, nah, 60, 70 years ago, you could get a lot for 20 or 30 cents. I mean, not in a day. Like, it was what not. What does mean for 1890 for a guy that has no legs? In 1890, 20 cents a day is probably good pay anyway. It's probably a job, like a good job. You know what? There's a best, good way yeah, to do this. Yeah, let's figure this out. What's, the, what's 26, 20 cents a day uh, in today's standards? This is at 1890 to 2020. Hello, Evie. Who's laying down my case now? Nice. She's very tired. Okay, the price difference twenty cent. Wait, no, 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 not twenty dollars. Well, there's a way to figure this out. You could get a soda pop. You just have to divide by ten. <laughs> so, okay, twenty cent. $20 in 1890 is the equivalent of today being $570. Well, how much is 20 cent, though? 20 cent, you just divide. So what? So it's 20 cent is what? Times 5 would be a dollar, so times 20. This is terrible math in my head. I have to do this on my calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Write out the equation, Charlie. 20 cent squared. Wait, that's not... How you do that? Yeah, it's EV square. So divided by a hundred. So it's like what five dollars a week? A day. Five dollars a day. Five dollars a day. And this is in South Africa. Five dollars a day. $5 That's five dollars a day, a day today, bad. though. Yeah, I feel That's like it. this is not proper conversion. I mean, you're the one on the website. I know. Does it look right? I don't know. I mean, hold on. Now we have to. Do you want a haunted forest? Because that's how you get haunted forests. Wait, what? When I die, I'm going to be buried with a tree. Turn me into a tree and make a graveyard forest. <gasps> that would be cool. A fly on the wall and a fly on the wall is twenty cents today. What? What? Have you ever seen the future is now? The documentary said squids would be ne the next intelligent. I have seen that squids are like remarkably intelligent. Squid and really? octopus. Like octopus, if octopus lived a long life, they would be like the smartest animal on the planet outside of humans. But they only live for like seven or eight years. Yeah. It's really but, sad when yeah. the mom goes because she dies like protecting the eggs. Yeah. And then her body becomes food when the eggs hatch. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty fucked up. No yeah. wonder they die so early. They're all cannibals. Cannibalism is like bad for you. Like... Literally, like biologically. Well, biologically, maybe cannibalism, cannibalism just works for them. No, they they die. They don't live long, Creighton. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like, you know, I don't know how the inside of <laughs> They eat other works. shit, too, though. Yeah. But they I eat bet other I, octopuses, too. Yes, but what they I'm saying is it's probably not good for them. <laughs> it's probably bad for their bodies well, to what, do that. Are you going to get these octopuses on a diet or something? No, I don't care about get it. Get them in the gym? No, I don't care. I'm just saying that's probably a big reason they don't live very long. Like, humans that eat other humans, like, well, specifically if they eat brains. Like, human brains is where, like, it's... It's really it's bad for you? Yes, there's is pre... It good, though? I hope not. <laughs> there's something in your brain called a prion. Oh, a yeah. We talked about this, because we were talking about that day, we were talking about the guy who bit the guy's junk and, like, crushed the one of the testicles in the mouth while the guy was still alive. I don't remember that. Yeah, I remember, because you're like, oh, and then you grabbed your own junk, and you're like, ah. Oh. And yeah, I like, mean, that why hurts, are we talking about that hurts this? Me and I was like, I don't know. You brought it up. I don't know. Excuse me? Prions aren't anything to do with your... It's in your brain. Yeah. God. Anyway. Yeah, and it's bad for you. It, like, yeah, it makes you go yeah, crazy. Crazy. Like, actually crazy. But if you eat, like, a leg or an arm, you're good, right? Or you, I don't, I don't think you so. Said I think that prions can travel. Well, whenever we had this conversation... You're like any meat from human can have prions in it. I think so. And well, you were like no, no, no. Any meat from humans have prions to other humans. It's prions are in every animal. Every animal has prions in them. Right. But prions are only 
like bad if you're the same animal. Yeah. Like if a cow eats cow, it's bad for the cow. It's like God's way of saying like don't eat your own fucking species. Exactly. Like fucking cannibals. Exactly. <laughs> maybe the mom. Maybe the no mom wonder crabs them. and fucking fish are so stupid. <laughs> they just eat each other. <laughs> Yeah, they're like just a bunch of animals. fucking cannibalistic yeah, freaks. Yeah, big crabs can get like. D- yes. You know Roly Polies? Yeah, they're crabs. You told me that. Yeah, they're crustaceans. Do you know how big they can get? You told me they can get huge because like, like some bigger on the than Evie. Of the oceans that look like pure white and everything. They're pure white and they're like fucking bigger than my monitors, like this monitor, like. And they can. They're eat like stuff. a foot or two foot I long. Bet those taste good. I bet they don't taste like anything. All they eat is like the sand at the bottom of the ocean. They just eat whatever biomaterials down there. Have you guys ever had crabs? <laughs> Eaten or had? <laughs> can you not cook it out? You cannot cook prions out. No. Prions we can th- last wait. like 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit That's or something. That or was Celsius. the question last time too. Yeah, hold on. And you were like, are you guys trying to eat somebody? Like, what's going on? I bet if you put enough spices in there, you know, you get that shit out. Yeah, Put some macaroni and cheese on it. You're eating the dog. 900 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit. Damn. That to destroy bad. a prion, it must be denatured to the point that it can no longer cause normal proteins to misfold. Sustained heat for several hours at extreme high temperatures, 900 Fahrenheit and above, will reliably destroy a prion. That meat is burnt. That meat is gone. Yeah. that's like It's not burnt. It's not there anymore. <laughs> We have conflicting information now. Well, but I love I'd rather my would not eat chart. No, guys, you don't understand. It's not burnt food. It's At gone. 900 it's degrees, ashes. your food is not there anymore. It's ashes. Your food is disappearing at 900 degrees. There you go. Don't eat the brain. Okay, maybe it's just the brain then. Charlie, when your meat is ashes. <laughs> Then you have my permission to eat it. When your meat is ashes, <laughs> then you have my permission to eat it. That was amazing. How dare you? Kyle just had the best. But 900 degrees for how long? Uh, it said for a long time, uh, like, like hours. hours. Yeah. It said many days? hours. I don't know about days or not. Weeks, potentially? Hold on, let me double Months? Check. Who knows? Either way, you're going to need a lot of firewood. Several hours. No, you're not going to need a lot of firewood for 900 degrees, bro. Uh, firewood ain't getting you 900 degrees. You need fucking fuel. You've you need seen, jet fuel. You've never seen how I build my fires. Yes, I have. It's not that great. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I use the log cabin style, you know what I mean? That's not going to do so it's it. it's like a house burn. Creighton, you need, like, flowing fire. A flowing fire? You need, like, like so napalm. Oil. Oil. No, you need fucking, or that shit like, that blew up that place. The, uh, you need firewood. What was it? You Beirut. Beirut. It's called Beirut. No, no, no. The one that we just talked about that looked like a nuke went off. Beirut. That no, was in Beirut. No, but no, but what was the stuff? Lebanon. That, no, the stuff that got lit on fire. Oh, well, don't say no like that's not where no, it no, happened. No, no, no. I'm not saying no, that's not where it happened. That's not what I'm You're talking, talking about. You're talking about the stuff. We're talking about fuel for fire. I believe in you. I think you yeah. can figure it out. Yeah, whatever he said. Some kind of chloride or something like that. Either way, it was a chemical. Phosphate. That's, phosphate burns for a long time. It burns really hot. I remember that because, like, our uh, science teacher uh-huh. lit some of it on fire in class, and like it almost melted through the pan that he had in it. It was great, and it would keep phosphate. I think keeps burning too, like until it like is gone, and like it'll burn through layers of the earth until it reaches the core. Why would you advertise things like that to people? <laughs> what? You can technically be a cannibal and be okay if you don't eat the brain, but like I'd want to try the brain. <laughs> What? Yeah. What'd you say? A cold? A cult. A cult. Kyle's asking if we want a cult. Oh, a cult. C U L. Charlie is conflicted about it. Not conflicted about it. I want to start a cult. I was the one who said we should start a cult. Yeah. Well, who would be the leader? Us. All three of us? No, me and me and her. Oh. We'd be the cult leaders. Why can't I be a cult leader? You can't be a leader. Thank you. You can be a you can be a sidekick slash acolyte. No, you're the I will not be the, the assist- I will not be the assistant to the cult. Creighton would be the leader. 
You have way too much confidence. I'm very charming. You guys could be like the business people in the background. I could be a front. I could uh-huh. be a fall guy. Yeah, you'll be our Mandarin from Iron Man 3. Yeah. You'll be I, w- Trevor. I would love to wear Trevor, some Trevor, thi- my name is Trevor. <laughs> I would love to wear some thick-ass robes and start talking in weird accents. He can be the leader of the youth cultists. And then I'll be like, hashtag youth pastor. Then I'll be like, you'll never see me coming. He dresses like a cult leader, talks like a cult leader. I can see Creighton leading people to be eaten, so he works. <laughs> I agree. I'm, I'm telling. A great leader. Are you trying to overthrow Matt? I'm telling. Tell him. I don't care. Matt can in, be involved. In Matt can. Matt could be a, a third leader. He could be part of our like. He would system. have identification numbers. He would be like the organizer, and I would just be like the face that gets everybody in. In fact, I feel the urge to join a cult whenever Creighton speaks. Okay, Thank that you. is not a good <laughs> urge. You need to see someone, a therapist, a someone. doctor. A doctor. I'm a doctor in some states. That's not true. <laughs> it's just I'm not talking true. about states of mind, Charlie. There's only one Matt. There is only one Matt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Leader Creighton, do we have health care? <laughs> uh, would they have health care, Creighton? Within reason. What does that mean? I don't know. You fall, you get hurt. It's your problem. But, like, you know, if you have, like, cancer or something, we'll just... We'll figure it out. So let me get this right. Let me get this right. You'd be willing to... We don't have liability coverage. You'd be willing to al- allocate money to something <laughs> very hard to figure out, <laughs> like cancer. But if someone <laughs> fell and skinned their knee, you would not be willing to you know, supply bandages or water or you know, rags? That's a lot of money, Charlie. People Is fall that? all the time. Wow. Good leader. <laughs> what a good... That's l- lots of good leading. Fearless leader, saving everybody money. I make the hard choices nobody else can make. We can only hope to be mad enough. <laughs> Everyone matters in, in this cult. <laughs> Hashtag Creighton Care. You'd get a good pat on the back. <laughs> Listen, Creighton. Well, it depends. I need to talk to my money I love people, you. Which is I love you, you Creighton. Listen so, like, do we have the money? For, Wait, what did you say? I had to talk to my money people behind the scenes. I would not be, be your you. money people. No, because you want to be one of the leaders, right? No, do I'm going to be the leader. So do we have enough money to do all-inclusive inc- all health care, or do we not? I'm going to be the leader. I'm okay. going to have those well, people, and I'm not going to be the one that knows. Oh, you're not going to be the one? No. That? <laughs> so what are you going to say if somebody asks you? In my cult, look, if I start a cult, it's because the world has already gone to shit. Like, the world is done being gone to do shit. and it's worship a, you? No. So what kind of co- what is that really a cult then? Because I would demand worship. No, I would. Like you gotta be. On I, they wouldn't worship knees. me. They would worship the god that I create. <laughs> you gotta be on your knees. I will create a kissing god. Kissing my feet, you know. That's see, you're the kind of cult that gets killed by your own members. No, because they're gonna get fed up with you over no, time. No, they'll do that whole like we gotta kill him because like you know sacrifice him to repent our sins or whatever. <laughs> Charlie, and I cannot like, go to therapy. You know. My cult leader says that my health package does not cover it unless I have cancer. <laughs> Fairy go, I love you. I'm taking over the cult. We're kicking Charlie out. Oh, you broke your arm? Fuck off, loser. You have, you, oh, you have an obscure disease that we don't quite understand? <laughs> Throw money at this. <laughs> exactly. Do you even know what cancer is? <laughs> it's when your cells are Sales. reproducing, right? They're reproducing at a rate that your body I don't know. I just want to know what with. cancer is. <laughs> so it creates tumors all, all over your body. Okay. Or something like that. It's not right? Okay. That's not correct at all. What is it then? Because you would know m- more than... Yeah, we're not going to talk about it. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. a good point. Then. Sorry, my bad. Anyway. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Yeah. We should Google it, though. Uh, you have at it. You have a laptop? At some point. Not right now, because Kyle doesn't want to talk about it. If I was... I just not. That's not F you to you. I'm just being like, fuck you, Charlie. I'm not Googling it right now. <laughs> if I was going to start a cult. It would be an apocalypse. Like the Aren't end you of the world. part of the cult because of the infam or whatever? It's not a I mean, cult. You talk about it all the time. You wear infam shirts. You, have, you guys kiss Nick's feet or whatever whenever he comes by. Uh huh. I mean, it's right. basically a cult. I'm pretty sure if he was like, hey, drink the Kool Aid, you guys. If that's true, then WWE is the biggest cult there's ever been. WWE? That's yeah. nowhere near a cult. They're not all mm. worshiping Vince McMahon. They're all. They're all like, worshiping a bunch of wrestlers that are fake fighting. It's anything, real physical activity. Anything, I will not discredit the uh, ridiculous physique those guys have to be in and the chairs that are actually hitting them and all the real physical things that are going on, but it's all staged. If anything, and they're open about it. If anything, it's a cult. It's more like Greek it has thou- it has millions of fans that paid m- 
ridiculous money to fly across the country and go to giant arenas to watch to something that is win. scripted. To see who will win. To see who will win. But. To see also, who will win a fake fight. But also, it's more like Greek mythology. You know what I mean? Everybody knows it's not really real, but they have fun enjoy. They have fun watching it. They have mm-hmm. fun like mm-hmm. you know, enjoying it. Right. Which I'm not but you're bashing saying, Greek mythology. But you're saying that's I'm not, not saying a cult? Greek you're saying that's not a cult in the infam is? We just watch a guy play video games. You guys are worshipping a guy that plays video games. We're not worshipping. We're watching. Okay. How much money do you throw at him? $5 a month. Mm, sounds like worship to me. <laughs> oh, okay. No, so, really. so is church so, a cult? Yeah. Sort of, in a way. Yeah. In a way. Okay. Big yeah. That's big cult energy. In a way. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I lo- I go to church, or, uh, like, you know, I go to church, and I believe in God and everything, but, like, it ha- follows what the same practices. Huh? What would you say, God? <laughs> he has disappeared. What would you say now? You're in a cult. I'm in a cult? Uh-huh. I guess, in a way. But, I mean, like, it's what I believe, if you guys want to call it a cult. <laughs> Charlie, ten luchadors are coming for your ass at the yeah. moment. <laughs> Actually, and that's why the Creighton luchador phase of WWE has been gone since before, like, you know, the NWO era. So, like, you know. Yeah, I'm sure that here. a real cult leader would make sure all his acolytes know that. The new world. Uh, for real, if we have a cult, they got to know their WWE history. Uh, don't stop saying we if if i get in a cult you're not invited <laughs> and if you start a cult i'm never talking to you again. <laughs> i'm not it, look in an apocalypse where there are cults i am starting my own cult away from you i can't have a cult with you if i have a cult i'm going to fucking Asheville in north carolina up in the mountains and i'm staying at the top of the fucking mountains i'm gonna bows and arrow with oil and fire and i'm aiming downward and i'm just not letting people All I'll up my say mountain is wwe if you just read it out loud is we together <laughs> think about the potluck don't drink the punch yet <laughs> fuck she's bringing food guys she's in <laughs> what wait why <laughs> that's fallout why. four in this bitch exactly man that's why creighton is even a better leader than you charlie he is able to create a cult without the need of an apocalypse yeah that's true. Sure. Charlie's actually triggered. I love it. <laughs> Charlie's not actually tri- Look, I'm triggered when they say shit like Endgame is bad, okay? When they say real things. We're talking about a hypothetical cult situation where <laughs> me or this guy <laughs> over here start our own cults. Yeah, look, I'm not I'm not mad. I'm having fun with a hypothetical. <laughs> oh, did we go? Wait, internet's oh, gone. Oh, oh, nope. YouTube <laughs> exclusive content. If we did create a cult, though. Like what would we what would we call it? Like there's no like you get to make your own cult, <laughs> cult but it's like we're in it together. Like there's no you difference. and me. I'm telling you, Creighton. We're like it's I, the apocalypse. I can't and we're even stuck hypothetically. I can't even hypothetically. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't even hypothetically decide whether or not you and me could be in a cult or not. Because no, like we're in a situation where we have to be in a cult together, right? Like we're making one. What would we call it? I'm not. I'm not even. Like gonna because if we call it the shirt entertain this idea or the T S the T S O C for no. short I'm not I can't I'm, I'm not doing the tis- I'm not doing or mm-hmm. C O S O C sock for short the shirt shirts off cult I love like abbreviations or not abbrevi- is it are those abbreviations write down on your notes YouTube exclusive. Okay. So you can put that down for later, <laughs> depending on what we talk about. <laughs> and depending on when the internet comes back. <laughs> Listen, dude. All I know for sure is that in an apocalypse, we couldn't join a cult. Like, let's get real. If we if, if an apocalypse happened, a cult is where we go to die. Yeah. A cult yeah. is the small end. Small groups are the way to go. Small, well, not even small groups. There are big groups that it's, it's, you, don't, you can't have. You need an America. You need, like, uh, everything is okay, just like, don't kill each other. Like that safe zone that, like, in Last of Us 1, where his brother is? Yeah, like Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that's what the apop- apocalypse will okay? probably boil down to. <laughs> <laughs> we need to establish a government. No. And, no? Fuck a government. government. We need, like... Establish rules? We need, like... S- we're a group of like two or three hundred people, and we need like six people who are in charge of those two or three hundred people. 
N- we need like six or seven really what stop he hasn't he hasn't played the l- second one relax anyway pick out the six people the people it would be a dem- it would be a democracy like a real democracy like a no, yeah. electoral college and all that shit sure the okay, cam down <laughs> <laughs> be a true democracy but what <coughs> I think the best thing to do would be get away from places with people altogether. Like if you have 200 mountains. people here's what you do fucking book it and get to the mountains the mountains live in the mountains the mountains are nice the mountains are nice the mountains are nice and there's stuff in the mountains you can grow shit in the mountains there's a lot of rain Lots of water. It's hard to get You can see push you. people off of things. <laughs> like it's 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 a good it's a defendable location. <coughs> what about like if we can't get to the mountains, where do we go? The Grand Canyon. All the way like further? We live in the Grand Canyon. But then we're fighting people attacking us from the high ground essentially. Yeah, but that's so high that they're almost not gonna have an advantage. I don't know. I mean, if they came at us, like, sure, they win, but, like, who's going to come at us? I think we're good. Are we back? We could push stuff down on us. Hello, everybody. The yeah. shirt, they, they shirt, they shirt it down. <laughs> they shirt it down. <laughs> Sorry. I missed, hey, did you still listen to the Black Eyed Peas? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know groups. I just listen to songs. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask Kyle. Kyle, do you listen to the Black Eyed Peas? Yeah. Like still? Like the n- their new stuff? Did do stupid. they have new stuff? Are we? Hold on. I'm going to stop streaming and start streaming again. Well, I forgot what I was know. talking about. Because uh, I thought of a joke when he was like, <laughs> I'm going to start streaming. Yeah. Huh? Oh, old stuff? stuff do they make new stuff? Hello? Are we? I think we're back. Yeah, we're back on my screen. I'm back on my um, screen. I have to refresh. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. But as far as like a cult goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, my end it says live unstable. <laughs> <laughs> Poor network connection detective. <laughs> That's us. We back. Hello, Flint. Hello, Flint. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see where this uh this goes in the next. If it goes out again, we might just call it. Maybe. I don't want to call it. I don't either. Yet. But oh, we might have Because we were having like an intense conversation. And we finished yeah. that conversation. We did not finish it. Well, we didn't? I don't which, think which so. What you want to get to? I don't get anywhere. I just, I mean, if we finish it, we finish it. I just, I, if we, I felt like we were in the middle of it still. <laughs> oh, well, well, we were talking about, you want to go to the mountains, right? Well, hold on. We, let's catch them up on they missed. Okay. We were about to name, Creighton was asking me to name the cult that we would ha- start if we had to start one hypothetically. And I was like, bitch, I ain't getting in the cult with you. Uh, but I'm gonna start doing more research on occults. Just say yeah. cults, you weirdo. <laughs> Wait, so what if we call it like Shiny Mountains or something like that? The cult. That's terrifying. Charlie, is that a new mirror? No. The mirror's been here. And That's not even a mirror. That's a Charlie. Since the other you brought room. up in game, in game is just like wrestling. Okay. Your cult's name should be Lemon Lesbians. Ooh, I like That's that a one. great name. But we aren't lesbians. Yes. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I'm sure if we were both girls, we'd be into each other, so. No. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I've never noticed it. <laughs> You've never noticed the mirror? It's always back there. <clears throat> you p- well, it's probably because you're watching and not listening, Kristen. You paying to see superheroes speak back. Oh, we just got a point there. I mean, yeah. you love Marvel. You're up I Marvel's do, ass. I do. Um, so what's the I like them. <laughs> so what's the difference between watching like a Marvel movie and watching like a plot play out on the WWE? People think WWE is real. I mean, yeah, and I WWE know. is technically real physical altercation. Marvel is completely acted out. There's no actual like physical fighting going on. No one's getting hurt. That's true. No one but can I mean, get concussed. But I mean, and like, there's CGI and a storyline and millions of dollars of budget and way more people working on it than on WWE. It's a much bigger production in every aspect. But I mean, like, are you saying you couldn't enjoy the, you could enjoy one more than the other? I do enjoy one more. Well, than I mean, the other. like, but that's what I mean. Like, you know, it's not real. A bunch of people know that it's not real. Like WWE, I mean. 
but they still go out and enjoy the fights and stuff and the storylines. You know, I mean, they they've even interviewed wrestlers and stuff who like you know have talked about like outside of the WWE. They're like, you know, Listen, I like this it's just not. Line. This is what we're doing. It's just not like a great story, is all. I, it's just a story. I, I, it's a very, they're very rudimentary, like person versus person being angry at each that. other stories. But, I mean, you can't. It's not like a fully fleshed out, like story with a meaning and a theme and like important I mean, sometimes lessons. Sometimes there are though, like you know, because a lot of these times these wrestlers are putting these stories together off the cuff. You know what I mean? But there's a lot yeah, of work. off the cuff. No, but there's also a lot of work <laughs> for bigger arcs in the WWE that goes into it. I'm sure, but I mean. I feel like there aren't a lot of WWE thing like Emmy nominated writing like writers for WWE. Imagine if there were though. It would be cool. They ought to get Jason Bateman to go in there and write some storylines. Get somebody I, to go in there and just write some absolute baller stories. That would be awesome. They see like the New World Order and all that, the NWO. That was some good shit. <laughs> G- I've never Generation noticed it. X. I feel like it's a glitch. I've literally been there. <laughs> the mirror. <laughs> yeah, Kyle knows what I'm talking about. Ever since Shawn Michaels left the WWE, it hasn't been the same. But the perception of people have, but the perception of, that people have is not responsibility of WWE. They're just selling an experience. I also find more respectable, find it more respectable the moves this guys pull off without wires. They're pretty much real life superheroes. Oh, that's get probably that. true. Hey, Matt, yeah. Matt's here. Hey, Y'all Matt. motherfuckers trying to overtake my cult. <laughs> God damn it, Kayla told him. <laughs> I mean, okay, like Kristen told him. I told y'all I was telling. <laughs> how dare you? How dare you jive turkeys overtake the mat? <laughs> Matt! <laughs> we're the socks. It's eternal. <laughs> Look, Matt, we're the socks. We're a whole different cult, and we're going to steal all your... Yeah, it's the abbreviation. Shirts off cult. What about the S at the end? You said socks. No, oh, we're sock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, Matt. Creighton is trying to start a cult against you. I don't want to be in a cult. I'm going to go be a lone wolf. And by lone wolf, I mean take like 10 to 15 people so what, you're make and go travel the countryside. Cult? The no, I'm not a cult. The pack. No. Oh, I like that, though. That does sound cool. It would not be a cult. We wouldn't be worshiping hey, anything. Kyle, the tree knot? What is a cult? <laughs> What is done can be undone. A system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. It would be a branch of Creighton's cult, a sub-branch. <laughs> I'm literally the left-hand Matt. Well, I'm not part of your cult, Matt. <laughs> it would be. Uh, I'm reading chat. It would be a branch of Creighton's cult, a sub-branch. But you could be. But you could be. I extend my hand. <laughs> and the prime diplomat. I'm the prime diplomat. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen, extend yourself. Whoa, Buster, how about you not talk about Kristen like that? I know, that? right? <laughs> <laughs> the big going to be extending here. It's going to be me. I'm a leader, and that's final. Listen, I'm Jesus. <laughs> I'm I'm not going to be in a cult, okay? Why not? I don't want to be. I don't want to worship things. Well, why did you bring it up, then? You, I, d- you brought it up. No, I didn't. You brought it up. Wait, no, this is part of the misdirection. I brought it up. I'm I so can confused. be those things because <laughs> I'm the face of the Okay, cult. Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> She's my left hand. Do you want to be? You could potentially be on board as a body part if you are Matt enough. <laughs> you could be the right leg of Matt. <laughs> <laughs> now let's be let's be realistic. You're like like the left earlobe of Matt. You're just oh, you're small. Damn. You're a small person. That's gonna say like the abs. Matt's direction. <laughs> 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 the branding, that branding is amazing, right? <laughs> he's, he's, fair you go. You don't understand it. X Credence in chat, his name is Matt. This guy has a cult. He is formulating a real sp- specific ass, like actual cult with rules and shit. It's kind and of identif- annoyingly ingenious. And he's going to be the next Scientology. What? And identification. And identification. Together we form Matt, <laughs> Matt Zoe. Matt Zodia, the forma- the formatin one. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Subscribe with Prime. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, you Fergo. I love you. You're a legend. You got an emote thanks to Fergo. Thank you. Wait, can I thank in chat? Th- oh, thank. Thank. Thanks for the... What is that? It's a it's a hexagon. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the hexagon <laughs> subscription. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the tight eyebrow of the Matt... <laughs> 
Oh, the right. <laughs> the right eyebrow. You're the tight right eyebrow of the match. Wait, so what's the back, <laughs> the heads, and the ass? We will eat your soul, beloved. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You're going to get your soul eaten. Note, all battles between cults have to be solved in a pi- pineapple eating contest yeah. between leaders. So good luck, fella. Shit. He got you there. <laughs> Thanks for acknowledging my existence. <laughs> ha! Our battle will be legendary. <laughs> Our battle... Ah, Poe. <laughs> so that's his name. Our battle will be legendary. <laughs> Bro, I what don't remember... What happened to him at the end? He got... He got Wushi finger held. He got killed. He is went he to the dead? he went to the Wushi realm. Is that wait? Is that like actually what happened? Yeah, yeah you go to a realm when you get Wushi finger held. Oh. It happens in Kung Fu Panda Three. Oh, okay, does that have in the Poe? I haven't seen the third one. No. You should watch the third one. I haven't seen the second one either. What? No, I've only ever seen the first one. The first one's amazing. And the second one's pretty good. I have not watched the third one to completion, but I know what happens. Really? I don't know. I man. heard the second one's like the Dark Knight tri- or like the Dark Knight of that trilogy. Really? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't like it nearly as much as I, the then first what, one. What movie were we watching the other day that you're like, this is the Dark Knight of this? Oh, uh, one of the Planet of the Apes movies. Uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is fucking elite. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. You know what else is amazing? What? Doctor Sleep. You know who hasn't seen it? You. you know who hasn't seen The Shining either? I don't you. remember the third one. That's going to be a requirement for my cult. You have to see both of those movies. Apparently, the Wushi finger hold isn't a real kung fu move. Well. <laughs> well, who tells you that? A bullshit. Come on, Matt. <laughs> a tale fit for your children and their children. <laughs> You're going to have to take a, a shit ton of Benadryl. <laughs> see me. Wait, fuck you. I'll eat that fucking pineapple like a champ, and then I'll eat three Benadryl, and you, and you will all worship me as I sleep. <laughs> She I'm really slipped. upset. I'll unhinge my jaw. I need to get a competitive eater as my jaw. Match jaw. <laughs> this is Matt's I could be shoulder. a competitive eater. Who's that? That's Matt's shoulder. Don't fuck with that guy. <laughs> He's tough as shit. He holds up the, the cult. <laughs> he holds up the neck. <laughs> he holds up the most important part of the cult. Also, have you ever taken your migraine have you taken your migraine shot yet? I opted to do it. I'm just making sure I still have that privilege. What? I love how we were just like ready to battle and she was like, wait. Creighton, I'm leaving your cult. I cannot follow somebody that does not follow the teachings of the Dragon Warrior. Wait. I do follow the teachings of the Dragon Warrior. Because I'm You're Dragon You're lying. Warrior. You're not the Dragon Warrior, Creighton. No. When you... Never mind. That's but Dragon mean, Warrior Creighton does today. have a nice ring to it. Yeah, really crazy over there, huh? Yeah, we're all pretty, pretty crazy. Have you ever heard of our Lord and Savior, Matt? <laughs> they immediately attack him. Okay, but uh, period. Peridot. Peridot. Period or peridot? Period. You spelled dot wrong. <laughs> Is it peridot or period? Period. Period. Per- period. Periods. Okay, because period. I thought you were saying peridot. Okay, like, what's peridot got to do with this? Join the masses. The masses. <laughs> God damn it. How dare you come in our podcast and start doing your fucking Matt propaganda? <laughs> Haven't been here in months, <laughs> and you come in here and you just start fucking attacking us, and you're taking our people, you're taking our cult members <laughs> to be yours, you're taking our potential cult members and taking them into. This is what happens to people. Yeah. Guys, don't be sheep. Don't move to the mats, the masses. Well, they're here, so the sacred mat. Shaking. I heard about it. I heard about it shaking my S M T H. What? Along the lines of the best cult ever. Am I right? No, you're not right. The Matt Colt trademark sponsored by the Shirts Off podcast. Hey, hey, no. The Shirts Off podcast did not highlight that message. <laughs> he used his channel points to do it. God damn it. That's right. No, no. The sacred Matt. Hail Matt. No, no, fairy go, don't. <laughs> I used my points for evil. God damn it, I lost another one. See, look, he said evil. He literally just admitted to being evil. Fairy go, do not join his cult. Join me, and we will travel the country and eat vegetables and hunt buffalo. <laughs> we will be a fun. Wait, are we going to eat the buffalo too? Yeah. He said just hunt. Well, yeah, we'll hunt, hunt to eat. Uh. But a necessary evil? No. No. We do have an annual potluck, but as a proud subscriber of the Shirts Off podcast, y'all win more viewers. <laughs> God damn it. 
He's just using us for our viewers. All your viewers will be mats. No. <laughs> Fuck no, Charlie. I do not want to be part of that sub-branch of Creighton's cult. We will not be a sub-branch of anybody's cult, goddammit. The mats are all you need. No. <laughs> no. Also, you earn mat points by doing things to please Matt. God damn it. God damn it. This is terrible. Mm. We should How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you all? <laughs> We've been betrayed. We're being betrayed. We have to cut the you know shit what we off. Have to do? We have to pull uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. Just go into exile on an island. Form our own cult there. <laughs> and then in 20 years, come back and try I hate again. it here. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba. What? Uh, you can, and you can exchange those points for goods and or services. What kind of goods and services? Yeah. Maybe I want to be a mat. <laughs> I'm loaded on channel points, bruh. <laughs> Denial, typical behavior of the weak sub-branch of Creighton's cult. That's Damn. crazy. Join us. You remember our movie? We could make <laughs> that movie together with the power of the cult. God damn it. Five Lights, Arizona. Creighton. Yeah? Five Lights, Arizona. Five light, oh, sorry. I was Googling something else. Oh. What were you Googling? I'm curious. So I was during all this crazy conspiracy talk, was so we were talking Matt about cults. Is inevitable, it eternal. Me, fight me. <laughs> it got me Sorry. thinking about the the Warns, like who have like that the museum of horror artifacts or museum of ghost artifacts. And then I remember reading Matt this thing the other day that Annabelle escaped, but that's just a rumor. It's not true. Uh. I had that written down in our topic to talk about, but oh, the five lights change. thing is really interesting because the other day I was hanging out with this girl named Selena from Arizona, and she was talking about how in Arizona, I asked her if they had UFOs out there. There's this place you can go in Arizona. Oh, the five, I know what you're talking about now, yeah. the five lights, where it's like... It's there all the time and nobody knows what they are. Yep. They're and like constantly near Area there. 51. Yep. They're not there every night, but they're there like... Mm, A lot. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen I've seen things so about it. What what hmm. is it like? I mean, not, not I mean, what do you think of it? I mean, yeah. The eyes of Matt are watching you. <laughs> be careful, friend. It'd be a shame if something happened to your podcast. Hey, hey! <laughs> How dare you threaten the, the shirts off podcast, Matt? You are very nice and very friendly, and I love you. But if you think I can't fucking body slam you off a building and survive, <laughs> also the the shirts off and podcast. take you out. What we don't we don't, we don't fuck with nobody. And we, wait, we don't take shit from nobody. We'll fuck you up. Creighton will watch me fuck you up. Yeah, we have bats and shit. Kick him. He's trying to take you out. I'm banning Matt. I'm banning VIP member of the fucking podcast, Matt. <laughs> I'm not banning him. Um, I was about to, but I'm not going to do it. I'm trying to find pictures of him. Ooh, like sonar, like sonar kinds? What do you mean sonar kinds? I will fucking suplex you off a building. You see, Charlie likes wrestling in secret. Nobody claims to body slam somebody without watching a couple of WrestleManias. Okay. Yeah, you know what? You, you know what? I'll let you have that part of the canon. Like cave bats. What are you talking about? Where did sonar come from? Did someone say something about sonar? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I said bats, and then they were like, oh, bats with sonar, like the animal. Oh. Yeah. There you go. You figured it what out. What do you think the five lights are? What do I think they are? Well, they're near Area 51, but they're there on and off consistently. S and they've been, I don't know how long they've been there. I've been like, I'm looking it up and reading it as we go along. But based off what she was telling me, I would say they're either aliens. Well, they're either aliens, aliens or there's some kind of government thing. Alien. Have you ever seen Bolt? The movie Bolt? Yes. The dog. Remember the yes. pigeon who's like, yo, my boy T here's got a plan. Look, watch him. Listen. Great plot development. Here we go. Go. And he walks up and he's like this. The pigeon goes like this. Look. Mm -hmm. Look at me. The pigeon. You know how pigeons do that like head thing? He walks up and he's like, get, gets up in the camera. And he's like, aliens. <laughs> <laughs> he goes like, like he, look, he looks into the camera, which is Bolt's perspective. He goes, Aliens, <laughs> and like, and they're like, "Oh shit!" The other pigeons are like hyping them up. Oh shit! Aliens, tell me you can't do aliens with the show. Aliens will be awesome. Like they're just trying to sell Bolt like a great idea, you know? God, that movie was underrated. Ha! Ah, my knees are already fucked. Do your worst. 
so your they, knees don't have to be fucked for me to kill you. They've, anyway, they've been. I'm gonna eat your up. brain, and then I'll control all the mass. <laughs> no, you won't. You'll be crazy, because that's what happens when you eat brains. They've been popping up since '97. <laughs> Fairy go. Charlie, I know I give you a lot of shit, but that was a good impression. Props to you, mate. Thank you, brother. <laughs> you can't make crazy, crazy. Stu- wait. You can't make crazy, crazy, stupid use punctuation. <laughs> anyway, that'd be crazy. God damn it. What'd you say? Oh, I said they've been p- popping up since 97. So that we know of since 97. That we know of since 97. What if they've been there forever? I don't know. What if that is well, like, have you ever seen the Truman Show? Yeah. What if those lights are the moon of the Truman Show? It's just that's where like they look at everything. Like They Maybe. look at the world from up there. Well, what I was thinking is if it's been... Screen Earlier, screen. it might be drones. You know what I mean? Like, how we... Remember that one time we looked at, like, the shit that people can do with drones? Those light effect things? Mm-hmm. That was really fucking cool. But, like, I thought maybe depending on how, like, what year they started for, popping up, it might be drones. But 97, there wasn't any, like, anything like drones in 97, was there? Not to us. Not to the public. Who knows, bro? Look, who knows what the fuck our military has control? We have lasers, bro. We have lasers that can shoot planes out of the sky. Okay? That's a real thing. And Lasers. And rails. They just shoot heat. And rails that can be launched from space that have the same cast off effect, effect as a nuclear weapon. That's what I'm talking about. Like, bro, a drone is fucking nothing. It's propellers. We had helicopters 60 fucking years ago. If you're telling me 30 years ago we didn't have little mini versions of that, I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you. That's just stupid. Like, we probably did. We have probably had fucking dr- They let us have shit when they know there's nothing we could do they couldn't prevent <laughs> you know what i mean yeah like thing things are getting crazy like technologically what did he say do you think if aliens actually exist do th- would they even bother in conquering our planet or they just see we are too dumb no i think aliens are here and i think they are the ones preventing us fr- this goes into my uh this goes into more into my uh from earlier the uh simulation theory I think aliens are the run- ones running the simulation, like what we think aliens are. Yeah. Because I think that the easiest thing to understand Ooh, is aliens. I just read something interesting. What? They disappeared for 10 years and then reappeared in 2007 and have been there since 2000, ongoing since 2008. That's nice. Anyways, so you were saying about aliens. Say we're in a simulation, right? Yes. If we're in a simulation, what is the best way for us to eventually find out about whatever the entity is, r- Like, right? Like... Mm-hmm. Like, it's hard to explain something like God. Like, God's difficult to explain. So if Unless God just showed die. up, that but that's assuming the religion is true. I'm saying from yeah. a human's perspective. Yeah, 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 I what I mean is if it's, if it's a simulation. Because if it's a simulation, like, assume there's no religion. If it's a simulation, what would be the best way to let us understand who our watchers are over time? Well, if we can make it to space... And we can go to the moon and Mars and understand that there are other planets and understand that if we could get there, why not something else? Maybe it's easier for them to just come at us as these things called aliens. In our, that's how, over time, we have progressed or they have planted the seeds of, here's how we'll come out to them one day when we finally say, hey, this is a simulation. <coughs> but with that said, um, I think that if it's not a simulation, aliens still exist and they're watching over us anyway. I think aliens are the reason we haven't blown each other up yet as a species. They're probably who saved us at the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. Yeah. I think that's what happened I can there. see that happen. I think that aliens are here to protect us because they understand how smart we could be. And they're trying to help us get there because they're really bored and they have no one else to talk to. And they see us have really cool music and good TV shows. And they want like people to talk to and hang out with. And they're just waiting until we're smart enough to not hate other people for how they look or act. And like how to not shoot and stab and blow people up for, like, I don't believe in the thing you believe. I think they're waiting until m- more of us are smarter than the rest of us. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see in the future. There's still a lot of people that think if you believe... In one religion, you shouldn't be alive. <laughs> and there's a lot of people in other religions that think they're if you're not in their religion, you shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Like, there's a lot a of crazy lot of people. There's a lot of people like that. Like, m- a like third of our planet, <laughs> like, have a religion. It's a big percent. It's a lot of people. Yeah. That's a whole bunch of people. I have this theory that us doing the effort to move into space is like our instinct to go to another world to fuck it up. 
Maybe. I think that uh, us going to space is the only way that humans will make it. Like I said before, the Quran says that Allah is the Lord and the Lord of the worlds, which is plural, for there being more than one life form. Also, there is no seven days of creation in the Quran at, at all. In fact, the Quran starts off at a war. When did Jenna destroying the world due to basically what you're doing, like polluting and stuff? So that, so the verse is very interesting in and in itself. That that is, that is a more realistic representation of how we've seen humanity so far, for yeah. sure. Absolutely. In all fairness, there is no seven days of creation in the Bible either. Mm, I mean, what it's do you not mean? wrong because like seven days is just an interpretation. There's yeah, no, it's like there, the first seven days. Well, that's what I mean. Like, it's not definitive, de- definitively like on the first day he did this. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's more like there was a period of time while this was going on, then a period of time when this was going on. But it could have been seven days. It could have been seven years. It could have been. You yeah. Know what I mean? Like, no, like the original word. Oh, I understand. Just stands Wait. for a specific passage. Why is Allah bleeped out? Twitch, fix your shit. Well, Twitch is very uh, loading screens in God's video game. <laughs> <laughs> but they were, like, there's a bunch of, like, theories about that. Because seven, you know, is, like, supposed to be, like, a magical number. So it's, like, 13. Uh, and whatever it was, they assume it was seven. But they don't know if it was, like, s- like I was saying, like, seven days, seven weeks, 7,000 years. The golden fractal or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I know because what you're saying. It's like in God's time, you know. You guys know Lovecraft lore? I've not really. I know very, very little. We were talking about this yesterday. <laughs> me and mm-hmm. I. Me and well, there's a new show called like Lovecraft County or something, and it's like explosively good, apparently. Well, I asked, it's on HBO, I believe. I asked him, I was like, what is Lovecraft? Because in those videos I was watching, I heard people refer, refer to stuff a lot as Lovecraft. And apparently a lot of it is like... Um, the guy who made Cthulhu, uh huh, or came up with the idea of Cthulhu, was Cthulhu, the guy that was Cthulhu. No, the guy who created the name was Cthulhu. What? I'm just saying. I'm just oh, interjecting uh, uh, ideas. Uh, yeah. The yeah, author. Wasn't that. Yep. That H.P. Lovecraft. That's the author. A lot of his lore comes from the Middle East. From the Middle East is is crazy. Yeah. You ever watch Love, Sex, and Robots? I haven't. I want to. You mean love, death, and robots? Love, sex, and robots. It's love, death, and robots. Yeah. It's an amazing show. I watched all of it in one sitting. That's a lie. I watched three episodes, went to the store, went home, and watched the rest in one sitting. What store did you go to? Uh, I don't remember. My dad needed to go somewhere. Was it worth it? I mean, what? (laughs) (laughs) What are we talking about? It's amazing. It looks so. G- it looks good. I love sex and some robot. Well, okay. that's what Chris is. Chris is a mecha sexual. Anyway, I'm watching <laughs> Seven Deadly Sins right now. I heard that that's pretty great. <laughs> I love the one with the yogurt <laughs> talking, taking over the world. That's a spoiler. Matt, watch it. It's like you can finish the whole show in like three hours. Like legitimately, go you just just skip an episode or two of De- Deadly Sins and watch. Or skip an episode two or shirts off and just come back to us whenever you... <laughs> That's not like a spoiler. I mean, that episode is four minutes long. That's a spoiler. Is it, though? Yeah, there's some very short episodes. No, I mean, like, is it a spoiler? Because I haven't seen it yet. It's probably... Sp- yeah. I'm it's watching through you. Seven Deadly Sins fast. What Seven Deadly Sins are you talking about? The anime? anime? I believe yeah. it is an anime. It's on Netflix right now. Yeah. Oh, Isaiah wants to say something. I'm currently re-watching Bro, The Legend hey, of Korra. Hey, Isaiah wants to say something. You have to come closer. We can't hear you. You have to come closer. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the anime of Seven Deadly Sins sucks ass. What? They fucked the entire animation so bad. I've I heard do, it gets I worse. I have heard that. that like Netflix original anime stuff is like not as good animation wise as like traditional anime. If you watched Avatar The Last Airbender... And have not watched the sequel show, Legend of Korra. It is now out on Netflix. Which and is holy amazing. shit! It's so good. The first season. Talking about it? The oh, first wow. season is so <laughs> good. Do you remember what you said a couple of years ago? What? Like, you, for a while there at work, you kept saying, like, 
Like, I would rather fucking wait five years for them to have, like, a Netflix original continuation of Legend of Korra than, like, all the comics that are a continuation of it. Yes. And like, it happened, sort of. No. Well, Legend of Korra is on Netflix now. That's so not maybe, even similar to what it maybe is. Maybe, eventually, they'll get to continuing it on Netflix. And no, the animation already, will be they awful. Have, they have too much canon that the guys who make the show wrote. Like, the, the comics are all there. It's like they're... Their their baby like that is something they they created. Do that. It's not the first time a comic's been taken from like being a book and turned into like a show or a movie. Well, that is true, and I uh, fucking really hope you're right and they do it. Like, I just don't think it's what they. It would literally be them remaking the same thing they've made, and they want to make more in the Avatar universe. Like right now, they're probably about to. Apparently, they're gonna write like a whole series based on Avatar Kyoshi. And do like a prequel about her, because apparently she was like the fucking, the like Deadpool slash Batman of all the avatars. Like she was, she was cool with fucking murking motherfucker. She killed people. She like straight up just like got rid of leaders. She was like, "Fuck you, you don't deserve to be in power." Like she was a fucking ruthless avatar. It sounds like a bad guy, right? It does. Evil avatar. Yeah. Well, she wasn't evil. No, no, but she wasn't evil. She was ruthless. I know. But imagine if there was an evil avatar. Which we kind of got that in Legend Korra, but not, like, really. You know what I mean? Like, an actual, like, <laughs> badass. Avatar there you go. Avatar Kyoshi had a The only friend. thing I hate about The Last cool. Airbender is that Ozai didn't deliver in the end. What, do you, what mean? do you mean? He did deliver. Dude was fucking terrifying. She was a beast. She was like, kill everybody. That evil avatar sucked ass. What are you... Wait a second. What are you talking about? I know what you're talking about. Very good. No, I mean, what is he talking about? Ozai didn't deliver in the end. I think Ozai was fucking amazing. I that like evil that avatar. You mean the season two of Legend of Korra? Is, is that like what you mean? It's very much like an episode of Dragon Ball Z, though. What? <laughs> the season that of last, Legend of Korra? No, the last fight between Aang and Fire Oh, Avatar bro. Ozai. It was amazing. I mean, it was good, but like, was it as good as all the other stuff? I think so. It was a pretty fucking was, legendary fight. I'm on your fight. side. I'm on your side. I just want to hear why it's not as good from Kyle. Because Kyle's over there shaking her head. I mean, I feel like it ended too quickly, in my opinion. I feel like he could have put up a better fight. Like, you feel like the fight ended too quickly? Well, the fight was very one-sided for Ozai because he was a much more experienced bender like than Aang in terms of how long he'd been a bender. But Aang is still the Avatar. Aang didn't have access to his Avatar powers. Otherwise, he would have beat him on the day of the solar eclipse. He could have wiped out the Fire Nation as the Avatar in the Avatar state during the solar eclipse. But he couldn't yet. So, once he gets the magic back rub and gets his fucking shit fixed. You mean that rock? Like, yes, the rock that the hits him in the back. Bang. Once that happened. It looked painful as hell. But it was. Stop talking. Once that happened and he was the Avatar again, it was over. Like... Like, he was just playing with Ozai at that point. But the thing about it is, gotta remember, it was a lion turtle that was the key part. Because it weren't for that lion turtle, he could have taken the fire bridge, um, the fire bridge, 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 the fire He was very important Wait. to the story. What? Shit, I can't ask you this, because it's a spoiler for Korra. Never mind, I'll ask you later. Huh? Okay. I'm not, I'm not. I'm rewatching the first season right now, and I'm like eight episodes in or something. Dude, it's so good. The first season is... It's like a mini movie, in a way. Or it's, it's like it's like, like a, a really long movie. Yeah, it's like a long movie. A really great movie. It is so good. I Dude, I, I have... She's losing it. <laughs> the old hot rock treatment. <laughs> Ozula was a way better villain than Ozai. I agree. So here is the best yeah. villain of in Avatar as a whole. I agree. It's not even close. Him and Amon both. Amon's pretty fucking... Amon is definitely way scarier, like, of a per... Like, yeah. especially going into it... Like, when you're watching and you don't understand everything yet, you're like, what the fuck <laughs> is happening? Like, what I is... Wish I just got to the episode with, uh... <sighs> can you cover your ears? Oh, fuck. Because she's got... Hit okay, I can, I can say this in a way where there's no spoilers. All right, say it. Where there's no spoilers. Where there's no spoilers. With <laughs> the cabin in the snow. Okay. The thing that happened there. When that happens, 
you really just have no clue what's happening next. You're like, what is happening next? It's it's fucking crazy. You're like, what the fuck is this? You would not Some think Captain it was for kids. Shit. You would not think it was for kids. Yes. After like it three episodes of that show, I mean, it was more it made was more for us. Like young teens. Or yeah, something. I mean, kids definitely Older probably watched teens. it. The problem with Amon is that they chickened out in the end, and they just make him. Yeah, I agree. Well, with don't that. say that. Don't read. Don't read the chat. Don't read the chat. I'm just saying. I don't think that's true. I don't think they do that. It's uh. just. I really liked Kuvira. She's all right. I think I think we all are a little butthurt about season four just because it was the ending, and it ended in such a way that there, like you would assume, there's definitely another season coming. But really, Nickelodeon bitched out and couldn't go PG thirteen enough to to keep making the show. So that's why it went on into the comics. I still have to read all the Avatar comics and then all the. Uh, the other ones, the uh, all the the core ones, the fucking core comics. <laughs> I read one Avatar comic. Yeah, and it's like a really short one. Well, you suck. It was so. pretty good. It was like it was like it was like a legit a mini se- like like a mini you scene. You know what you should do? It could have been filmed. You should see if they've got like motion comics on YouTube for it. They do. That's how I read it. Oh okay. Yeah. It's like the motion. I love watching motion comics. Unpopular opinion for sure. Anyway. <laughs> I think Korra is more developed than Aang, even though she is more OP. Well, I mean, yeah, she's older. Yeah. She's definitely older and definitely has... Who do you think would have won in a fight out of, like, all the Avatars? All of them? Yeah. Well, we've only seen, like, six or seven, but really, like, and we've only really seen two of them. There's been generations of them. What? Like, you know that air temple with all the statues of the Avatars? Yeah, there's fucking, like, uh, like thousands of them, at least. Like, who do you think would win, though? I don't know, bro. There's a lot. We never right, met. We've never the, met a lot of them. The one out of the seven that you know about. Well, I don't know if it's seven. I mean, the so ones you got that the Airbender. That just was pick. Just pick some. Just pick uh, a few. Pick. Ask who would be the strongest. Okay, so what's her name that you guys were talking about making a prequel series? Kiyoshi. About? Kiyoshi. Um, Probably her. Because she's fucking ruthless. Fi- what's the fire? Roku. Roku. Korra. Korra. The waterbender dude on the surfboard. That was really cool. Kudu. There you go. And uh, the Airbin. Huh? Yangshin. That's Yang close. There Six. you go. Who do you think will win? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, probably off of what we've seen, you can only really go with Korra and Oroku because they're the only ones you've seen really do shit, at least in canon. And then based on how they talk about Kyoshi, it's probably Kyoshi. Kyoshi's fucking legendary. Kyoshi seems like a fucking mo- like fucking merc. Like she seems like she could wipe people out. Like she other did. avatars. She did. She created well, a yeah. whole ass island. Well, yeah. And that other guy just fell off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can check out. You can check out in Comic Storian YouTube channel to see most of the comics. I think Aang showed so much growth through the seasons. Well, yeah, but the, the only thing I don't like about the growth Aang showed through the seasons is that that show takes place in less than one year. The whole three seasons are in the span of, like, one year. Whereas Korra, in four seasons, you travel, like, six or seven total years from beginning to end. Like, it's way more fleshed out, and you're dealing with much more developed characters, like, realistically. Like, like where K- Katara, from the time Avatar Last Airbender starts to end... Katara, Sokka, Toph, and Aang are so different inside of one year. It is bananas well, how different a, they are. It was a wild year, though, Charlie. I mean, yes, but if you break down what happened to them, well, like, they didn't go more than two days at a time without, like, some episode-worthy shit happening. Well, it's <laughs> like, 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 kids change a lot within that amount of time, too. They're yes. all, like, those tw- tween-age, teenage, whatever the fuck Yes, sure, but... You're talking little kids that can hold a uh, hold up against not just full grown adults, but fucking leaders and like legendary benders. And these kids have one has a sword and he that he learned how to use in three days, and he's just a fucking savant. And a boomerang, yeah, boomerang. sure, boomerangs are cool and they're awesome, but you can only do so much with a boomerang. Katara, while being a water bending prodigy, has a year of she's a kid. <laughs> Aang is the avatar, sure, a kid. Toph is ten years old. Toph Toph's a goddamn legend. And she's ten. 
Not look, and I'm not talking shit. It's my favorite cartoon of all time. It's not even close. It's fucking amazing. I fucking love it. But okay, conver- controversial question: Who did you ship in the last Airbender? Ooh, I like that question because I know a lot. Toph of and Zuko. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Only because she like had a big crush on him at the end. I thought that was funny. Uh, yeah. No, uh, probably. Pr- honestly, I liked all the relationships that they had. I saw a lot. Of I liked Aang and Katara. I liked Sokka and Suki. I liked uh, Zuko and Homegirl. May. I thought a lot of people. Would. I liked Tylee and Azula. A lot of people shipped uh, Katara and. Didn't think of that. And Zuko. A lot of people did, but I never liked it. Never liked it. I always thought it was kind of like. It felt like the forced thing that was almost a thing. I thought Aang and Katara were a little forced. Just because Aang's like, you know, 12 and she's like 17. She was 14. She looks 17. You look 17. What do you say? <laughs> it's a cartoon. What do you mean she looked 17? I don't know. She, she was a drawing. <laughs> she looked 17. <laughs> what? Ma- oh, hold on. Uncle uh, Uncle Iroh and Sokka? <laughs> nah, I shipped Tylee and... May, dude. Okay. I, I row in the bounty hunter chick with the lizard thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, Zuko and Katara have most of their development in every scene they share. I and Ty Lee. May and Ty Lee? May. May and Ty Lee, probably. I like May and Ty Lee. No, May. The moon lady? And Ty Lee. The moon lady in Sokka? That's not. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that UA. Sad. That was sad. UA. No, <laughs> As a kid. <laughs> I entirely me no me hey, <laughs> I I entirely as a kid no Matt entirely <laughs> I'm so confused by how you were talking about you dumbasses I love you kid. and you just ended up with Katara because of bald plot armor yeah eh, I don't know it wasn't destined at all it was kind of like oh there's a Two girl lovers. the first girl I've seen in a hundred years I guess I guess I better marry her Two lovers. I like that. that that's a good with episode. one another. Secret tunnel. Separated <laughs> by their people. That's a great song. Dude, that show has so so much good music. Like all like the, the earth bending music, the fire bending music, like the themes for the different uh bending. You wanna watch Last Airbender? It was almost the movie? Oh good. Uh, you and said the last airbender. It was almost an incestuous relationship. I always saw them as brothers, yeah. really. Brothers and sisters. Two you brothers. Brother and sister? Br- two brothers. And a sister. <laughs> two brothers and their sister in the northern water tribe. <laughs> Who's always Defending complaining against about her mom thousands of shit. <laughs> she can't go a day without thinking about her mother, who she hasn't seen in ten years. Because she's Because she's dead. <laughs> My mother used to breathe. Ha ha, we've heard that one before. <laughs> it was almost in an... Oh, I already read that. Azula's, like, consistent sound effect. <laughs> oh, you mean her, yeah. like, the cue? Or, but it's like a... It was a dis- different instrument than the normal Fire Nation thing. Yes, it was amazing. All of, all of them have great, like, uh, fucking themes. Like, the, the themes of each character is... Am- Iroh is the best character in the show. Top tier character. If it's not him, it's a uh, cabbage guy. It's one of those two. They're they're the best. Ones. Cabbage guy had the most character development. He really did. I mean, he really he really went all he, over the world. He is the my leg from SpongeBob. He is of that show. Yeah. They are the same. They my are the same cabbage person. corp. <laughs> hey hey, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, bro, what a great show. Uh. Well, well. I want to talk about more of the stuff in the notes, but honestly, it's Monday. And I'd rather get to that. We 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 like we stretched we some stuff. of the shit that yeah. we talked about today. Like we sh- we yeah. ma- like we made it work. We're getting good at this talking thing. Yeah. What? Really got into it. it only took us we eighty-five did. episodes to get it down. <laughs> oh yeah. But damn it, we're here. Did you find Kuvira disappointing? I didn't find her disappointing. I found the season disappointing. Damn. Not the whole thing. Not not like as a season. Just I was expecting more of that season. Well, you would expect more, Charlie. Fucking tool. No skin. I love you. With that said, (laughs) good night. (laughs) Gonna wrap this one up because Creighton just called me a tool and I'm sad. I'm gonna go cry. (laughs) 
You guys have a fantastic night, and uh, we love all of you equally, except for Fairy Go, who we love a little bit more than usual today. Yeah. Shit on everybody else. And Matt, who we love a little bit less for trying to take over the podcast. Yeah, trying to take over our people. Good night, guys. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Matt, be here. I'm kidding, but but be here. Yeah, be here. Do it. She's like, good Do night. it. Good night.